Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to do editing within the company settings. First of all, click on settings. The grid will list the following options. You have to click on company setting. You will be redirected to the page of editing company setting. These are the mandatory fields which you have to enter. Here I have taken the support email name as Webcool because it's our company name. Here you can take the support email address spur your choice. Let's say and next ticket ID as the tool ticket. Tooltip information provides next ticket ID should be greater than last ticket ID. It means that here you can see the ticket ID is 2. If a value less than 2 is taken then it will not accept that value. You have to take value greater than this. Default mailbox I have taken a support sales from the list of already created mailbox. These two default options, that is default status and default priority, if user set these values as open, let's say, and default priority as medium, then these two values will be displayed with every new ticket. From here, the user can set the time zone of the help desk. From this, you can select the time format. I have taken this. How since response pending? As the tooltip information provides, number of hours since customer last replied. Let's say, if I have taken value as 12. If a response has not made by the customer within this time span, then message will be sent to their email address for long pending response. To disable it, you can set 0. This is the pending notification status. You can select from the list of options, let's say pending. Pending notification template. You can select long pending ticket. This will be the message that will be sent to the customer for long pending response. After that, you can click on save button. Thanks for watching this video.